We are going to be talking about Clubhouse today. Um, and, you know, somebody pointed out uh, during the comments, uh, you know, it's it's comparing to, it's comparing apples and oranges, live streaming and Clubhouse, which is actually correct. Um, but maybe you shouldn't say versus, maybe you should say like, and, because we will be talking about, um, you know, whether, how you use it in your strategy and if you even should. So if you're new in the house, please do type new. I would love, love, love to meet you. Hello, Eileen. I have, okay. <laughs> All right. Just for you, Matt. Oops. Comments. Comments alert. Uh, just for you, Matt. <laughs> we'll get into it. Are you ready to rock this and get this party started? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I got to get something up. Oh, there we go. Is Clubhouse the new live streaming? Uh, do you work it together in your strategy? Is it two completely separate things? Is it is it similar in any way? Uh, what is Clubhouse even? How do you use it with your live streaming strategy? Who should use it? Who shouldn't use it? All of that and more we are going to dig into in this video. Now, the cool thing is, because I saw during the countdown, so many people saying, I need an invite. Well, guess what? We have five invites that we are giving away today. So uh, this is going to be awesome uh, because we know that so many people have, um, you know, have been waiting and waiting and waiting to get to into Clubhouse. So Ecamm, who, by the way, we are streaming for both live streaming pros channels and Ecamm channels. Ecamm had some extra invites. Um, now, this is through the Ecamm club, uh, so you're just going to be automatically uh, able to uh, subscribe to the club as well when you get this. Um, <laughs> is it a fight to the death sort of thing today? It might be, but here's what we're going to do. Uh, in order to give away these things, here's what I need need you to do. I see all the people like, I need an invite. I need an invite. <laughs> Lars, great question. We're using the wheel of awesome. Oh wait, sorry. It's the wheel of names. So what I need you to do, so this is completely randomized. I can't play favorites or anything like that. So here is your action. If you want, I'm just making sure you're paying attention. If you want, wait, hold on. Let me really make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> All right, now that you're paying attention, <laughs> um, if you want an invite to Clubhouse, remember we have five that we're giving away, here's what you need to do. Right now, type your full name, not your middle name, but like your full name in the comments and the team is going to gather those, put them into, and that's all I want you to do, just your name. Just comment your name. That's it, okay? That's how we will know that you are asking for an entry into the giveaways. And then the team behind the scenes, gathering up all your names, putting them into the wheel of wonder. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> and then we will do the giveaway here in a little while. So I'm gonna give <laughs> Paul, no, I'm sorry, I can't. I... <laughs> I can't play favorites. We, it's a completely randomized uh, process. So thank you so much for your super chat, but it did you no good whatsoever, Paul. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let y'all just like throw your names in there. Just put your name, that's all I want in that comment, in order to enter. All right, so let's get, while you do that, I'm going to start talking <laughs> because it's what I do best. Maybe not. Um, okay, we're going to give those away here in a bit. But first and foremost, what is Clubhouse exactly? So Clubhouse is an audio-only app. Um, it, is a, it is a community hangout. Um, but it is audio only. So there's no video, there's no recordings. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> you also just wasted 20 bucks, Christopher. <laughs> I can't, I, I'm sorry, I can't do anything. I can't provide extra oomph in the random wheel of wonder. But thank you so much for your super chat. <laughs> okay, so Clubhouse is, um, it, 
I'm going to go into a club right now uh, just so you can kind of see what is going on and hopefully and dealing with things. <laughs> Okay, I didn't want the audio. So this is Clubhouse, my friend Glenn Morshower in there. Um, and this is what it looks like. So you can see they're just people's names, okay? And now I'm just a listener at the moment. I'm just a listener, but you can see these people with, ooh, I should have brought this in like <laughs> a proper camera. Um, but you can see these people with the green uh, badges, right? Hold on, brightness level I'm turning down. That should help. Okay, there we go. Um, so you see the people with the green badges, those are moderators or the hosts of the room, and they are the ones speaking. You as a listener, um, once you enter a room, you just have, um, you, you're just listening. That's all you're doing is you're listening to a conversation. It's like being a fly on the wall and you're getting amazing value out of that. Now I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons here in just a few minutes. But um, when you, there are different ways that rooms are run. Yeah, some people might bring you up as a speaker or you can raise your hand to speak and ask a question to the panel or um, people sometimes just have open conversations in the rooms. And so if you wanna speak up instead of just listen, you ask to, you ask to become a speaker and then you become a speaker. So there are three levels. There's, there's just listeners, there's speakers, and then there's moderators, okay? <laughs> uh, I love all the bribing going on in the chat room right now. <laughs> You're getting $75 to get your other $5 back, a private $5 Ryan situation, okay? I have no idea what you're talking about right now whatsoever. Um, if you have questions specifically about Clubhouse, be sure to put Q in front of your question. That way I can make sure that uh, I actually see your question. Those are being gathered and put in a private location for me because the chat is going crazy right now. Okay, so that's what Clubhouse is at its core basic level. It's just a, a room of audio conversations. Um, and it sounds really boring. <laughs> like, honestly, when I, um, I'm going to leave this room uh, and get out of there. But when I was first hearing about it, I was like, that sounds like the most boring thing ever. And I've, I know that apps have tried this before and meh. Like I wasn't really interested in it. I did not expect to fall in love with it. Um, it is iOS only, by the way. I should mention that. Uh, if you have an Android device, you will not be able to get in. Yes, it is only for, oops, sorry, that was the wrong, wrong one. It is only for iOS. So please don't enter your name if you have an Android device or you can't get access to an iOS. We'll give away, we'll, we'll announce the winners here in just a few minutes. I want to get through some content, give everybody a chance to enter their names and get my team chance to actually pull the names into the, um, into the giveaway Wheel of Wonder. <laughs> so hang tight. Um, okay, so Caleb apparently, wait, hold on. Did, oh, I was looking for a comment. I can't see the comment. Okay, so that's how um, that's how club work, Clubhouse works. What's brilliant about it and what I love about it is the authenticity. For some reason, it's, well, I, I understand it. So many people are, they're not worried about the tech. They're not worried about being on camera, uh, putting, doing their hair, doing their makeup. I had a big old like fight with the mascara brush this morning. Um, you know, you don't have to do any of that stuff in order to jump into a room, provide value, get value. And so because of the rawness of it being just audio, you're not really having being distracted by the visuals. It's a really authentic world. Um, now, some people have rooms or have experiences in rooms that is kind of nasty or whatever and trolls, but that's where whatever platform you go on and you cultivate the experience by who you follow and what cho you choose to, um, what rooms you choose to go into. So it, 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 every, I've never had a bad experience on Clubhouse. I've never had a bad room because I'm cultivating my experience. And 
the, like I said, the conversations are just super raw, super open. There are celebrities and really well-known people sharing information and sharing tips and talking, giving value um, in a way that they don't do anywhere else. Like you won't see them create a video <laughs> that delivers the kind of advice that they're giving in Clubhouse. Um, that may be a short-term thing, by the way. So you never know this. I, I do not know or anticipate that Clubhouse will actually hold its value for a very long time. I hope it does. Um, but I don't anticipate that, that it will stay the same way. But for the here and now, for the next six months, probably, it will, it's a, it's a really, really valuable place to be. Now, there is no recording going on on uh, Clubhouse. That's another reason why it's so powerful because of the FOMO effect. So um, it's both a pro and a con uh, because with the FOMO, the fear of missing out, you know that if somebody you, you know that delivers value, like Glenn Morshower, value bombs constantly every time he opens his mouth. Um, and when you see him in a room, you're like, I gotta, I gotta show up because I'm gonna miss out on this, right? That makes it a time suck and that makes it an addiction. <laughs> and yes, I am addicted, um, but actually I've put some parameters around my time uh, with Clubhouse so that I'm really getting strategic about when and how I use it. I had to because I was going to sleep at 1 a.m., which I usually am in bed by 9 a.m., right? So there's there, the, most people experience this when they first get into clubhouses, this FOMO effect, this addiction. Um, and that's not necessarily healthy, <laughs> but uh, it is kind of crazy that everybody just like whoosh <laughs> dives in, right? Yes, um, because it's not being recorded, I have a notebook that I actually have ded dedicated to clubhouse uh, notes. So when somebody speaks up, uh, then... I'm, I'm jotting down those notes. And so I actually can't multitask while doing Clubhouse, right? So uh, we're still giving away. We haven't done the giveaway yet, so hang tight. You guys can still enter by putting just a comment with your full name, last first and last name. Um, so we're going to talk about recordings here in just a minute because there is a caveat to that. Um, Yes, uh, I think there's a lot of information coming out right now because of the level of people on Clubhouse right now. But also what I love about it is that I have gotten to be able to know, yes, I've met so many influencers and I've connected with people I didn't even know were influencers or existed um, that, will, that, that we will collaborate on further things in the future. And so that's going to be a really good Thing for you know me and you all because I'm going to be able to deliver even more value with these collaborations, um, and so there's a lot of potential there. Um, but I've also been able to get to know you. <laughs> there are people in my community who I know their face and I know their humor from the comments on live stream, but holy cow, I didn't know how brilliant you were, you know. And we're having these conversations where I'm like, whoa. Like, you're amazing. And being able to connect and get to know my community from that perspective is so, so powerful. It's created a deeper connection with those of you who are showing up in my rooms on Clubhouse, and I can get to know you and what you're doing, right? And so this is a um, this is a way that you can really use Clubhouse strategically to gain a bigger community, to grow your community, but but to create loyalty within your community because, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, you got to chat with Ma Maddie Hapoya, um, who is a big influencer on YouTube, you know, and like there's so many people there um, who are just willing to share, go deep. Um, now, um, hold on, I just want to make sure I stay on track here. <laughs> okay, uh, so I talked about the pros and cons. Let's talk about strategy. Uh, and by the way, if you do have questions around this or topics you wanna discuss, be sure to put Q in front of your comment. That way it gets to me because I'm gonna tackle those here shortly. And then we're uh, we're also going to give away five invites to Clubhouse for iOS users only. Um, 
Yeah, be sure, to, uh, it's such good networking, be sure to create a good bio so you can connect, connect with others and others can connect with you. It's a really good point, Jan Janelle. Um, I actually, my bio on Clubhouse is different than any other bio anywhere else. Now, it's similar enough that people understand that I'm connected. If they go follow me on uh, Instagram or YouTube um, and they found me on Clubhouse, it's not a disconnect, but at the same time, I tailored my Clubhouse bio to tap into more of that authentic connection community um, approach because that's what it's all about there. And people are so, um, they're, they're so uh, kind of hell bent on making sure that it stays authentic um, that I, I just wanted to say like, hey, like this is this is who I am from a community perspective or from an authentic perspective, right? So, yeah, <laughs> yes, we've seen each other in Clubhouse. Like, I mean, it's it's so cool how um, how you get to know people and how you get to meet people there and hang out with them. Um, and by the way, I will say this: if you are joining Clubhouse and you need to understand how Clubhouse works. I'm not gonna go into like a tutorial right here and now about what to do and how to join rooms and all of the, the nitty gritty, like how to use Clubhouse. That's not what this conversation is. I did see some questions about that. Follow Clubhouse Jeff. So once you, once you get into Clubhouse, search, there's a search um, bar. So search Clubhouse Jeff. He is the person in our community who um, walked me through everything. And his whole mission is to help people get onboarded and to welcome them into Clubhouse, teach them, help them uh, make, he's making Clubhouse easy. Uh, so Clubhouse Jeff is who you want to look, uh, look for in there. Uh, there you go, follow Clubhouse Jeff. And by the way, um, as we are gonna do the giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> the giveaway is coming, guys. I have to wait until all the names are gathered. That's a big job for the team, okay? It's a big job for the team to go through all of the different platforms and gather all of your names. This is a manual process. We have to copy and paste into this wheel of wonder. Um, and so we are working on it. We will get there ASAP. Um, so as soon as I get the notification that it's ready, then we will do that giveaway. Okay, what is my name on Clubhouse? Luria Petrucci. Uh, so if you just search my name right here, Luria Petrucci, you'll find me. Um, and um, clubs, let's talk about clubs. So, uh, Ecam has a club. I will be. Ha I will have a uniquely you club. I just honestly have been a little busy um, with some fires, and so I have haven't submitted yet. So I will have a uniquely you club. Ecam has a club, um, and Ecam is doing uh, a weekly show about streaming with uh, direct topics on Fridays, so 4 p.m. Eastern, um, and then there's an office hours weekly on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern as well. So when you do get this invite, you'll be connected to the Ecamm Club because that's where the uh, invites are coming from, and you'll be able to join the, the club uh, experience. And then um, every Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific, I do host, uh, co-host with a Oh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Somebody suggested apparently that we could have used a Google form for entries. Not a bad idea for the future. A really good idea. <laughs> this is a really good idea. We'll do that in the future. Thank you to whoever suggested that. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, so uh, 4.30 p.m. Pacific every Thursday uh, is when I co-host a room with a bunch of my live video peeps, uh, Molly Mahoney, Stephanie Liu, uh, a, a bunch of other people. Um, I'm just not going to name all their names because we, we all kind of gather up and, and do it together. Uh, and so you can get, um, so you can get that, uh, live video talk every Thursday as well. So you've got a lot of, uh, conversations that you can just start hopping into and get, um, get that uh, value out of Clubhouse immediately. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, looks like I have it. Um, okay, so we are ready to do giveaways. Whoa, 
<laughs> There's a lot of names. Okay, so we're ready to do the giveaways. I have five giveaways. And after the giveaways, um, what I'm going to do is talk about the strategy. So I really want you to hear like, who should be using Clubhouse? Who shouldn't be using Clubhouse? How do you work it into your strategy as a live streamer? Um, and so we'll, I, I got lots of tips for you to share around that. So are y'all ready? Let's do it. Um, all right. So all I do is I'm going to spin this. Okay. Are you guys ready for the spin? First winner is Scott Allison, yay! <laughs> well, hey, you, you said ready. That's awesome. Congratulations, Scott, for the first winner. Okay, we have, we have four more. Four more, y'all, so don't go anywhere. Wait, hold on. I'm just checking. Uh, okay, ready? Second winner. I've got a nap. <laughs> Second winner is... <laughs> Peter Fallin Fallinius, Fallinius, I hope I'm saying your name right. Peter, come congrats. Oh, wait, where are we giving them their, in are they emailing? Shoot, I didn't, <laughs> wait, hold on before we go on. Um, Caleb, Callie, um, are we having them email support or what are we doing for the link to the invite? Um... <laughs> I think, I think what we're, I'm going to wait for clarification. So you guys know you won. Uh, we're going to keep going with these um, and then we'll get onto the strategy. And then I have a surprise for you as well. So don't go anywhere. All right. Third winner. Oh, whoa, no, wait, wait, no, wait, what is happening? <laughs> It always goes to the next one. Luke Lee, congratulations. <laughs> okay, so Luke Lee is the third one. Um, no, don't show up at my door. Uh, yes, we have a link. So I guess if you're watching on the Ecamm channels, email the Ecamm support. Um, if you're watching on the live streaming pros channels, you can watch or you can email support at livestreamingpros.com to get your link. You just need to make sure you tell us uh, that you are the winners. Okay, next up, number four. <laughs> oh, and that's a Floyd. <laughs> this is fun. I agree, Dan. <laughs> okay, so support at livestreamingpros.com is where you're going to uh, get your link, those of you who are winners. All right, last winner from the five. Let's go. All right, what if I teach you to pop? <laughs> what if I offer to teach you pop culture things? Can that get me one? <laughs> Ken Roy White, woo -hoo! congratulations. <laughs> I feel like we should be betting. Okay, now here's the deal. Why does my stream deck, this is so weird. My stream deck keeps reverting to pro, uh, the wrong profile, interestingly enough. Um, okay, so congratulations to the five winners, but don't go anywhere. Because I have a surprise for you, okay? Are you ready for the surprise? Um, <laughs> after we get through the next part of this video, which is talking about the strategy, we are going to give away five more invites to Clubhouse. So there you go. Not five, 10. We're going to drop five more. No, you didn't all win. <laughs> you want an invite. You want an invite. You want an invite. <laughs> Yay. Five more coming soon. <laughs> I don't want your pop culture references. Uh, yeah. So if you want email support at livestreamingpros.com. Um, super. Whoa, dude. What? <laughs> Sammy. Oh, what? Why are you doing that? Thank you so much. Oh, Sammy. I appreciate you. Wow. 
Holy cow, just coming in and dropping the super chats. Oh, wow. Holy moly, right? No way. I think he, I think he made a mistake. <laughs> Sammy really wants that invite. <laughs> Oh, um, accidentally pressed the wrong button, right? He was like $10. Whoops, that didn't, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy, for being such an amazing community member. Okay, so let's talk strategy and then stick around. Don't go anywhere because we have five more Clubhouse invites to give away. Um, okay, so super duper chat. It really was. We need a different like alert for that. Super duper chat. Um, <laughs> aww, LSP is one of my favorite YouTube channels. You're so sweet. Okay, so let's, <laughs> I love all the comments. Let's talk about strategy. So um, I'm gonna tell you what my strategy is, and then I'm gonna open it up to other people's strategies as well, um, because I've have had a lot of conversations with a lot of Clubhouse users in terms of how they're using it to grow their audience, to grow their business, um, and what is most important to you. Um, and I want you to listen to this stuff. And I, as I'm talking about strategies, I want you to ask yourself, one question. What are my goals this year? You've set your goals for the year. You know what's important to you. Not everybody should be diving into Clubhouse because of the time suck. Or if you do, you may need to set some parameters after the first week of going the addiction route. <laughs> but, um, you like not, it, it may be not the right option for some people. And so I want you to ask yourself, what are my goals? What's most important for me to accomplish this year? And then as I talk about the strategies, reflect back on that and say, does this sound like something I can work with in my goals, right? Um, so I am not a, a believer of uh, just, willy-nilly chiming in into a new platform. Like there's so many platforms that have been here and gone um, and TikTok, like I never jumped on that platform either because it wasn't right for me when it was released. Oh, oh, <laughs> Paul, Paul is messaging me that I missed an opportunity. I missed a major opportunity that I'm going to make sure I don't miss for the next round of giveaways. Okay, so I'll have to figure out where that is. But anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, next round of giveaways will be even better. Okay, so um, that's what I want you to think about. Think about whether it's the right strategy for you. Um, it is a to It can be a total time suck. So you have to be strategic in the manner of approaching, of how you approach it. So for me, my personal strategy on Clubhouse is twofold. First, um, I am really at the basic level talking to the community. <laughs> like I am, I, I, I have no monetization strategy whatsoever. Some people do, and I'll tell you what those, those are and how that works. But um, for me, Clubhouse is all about community, connecting to my existing community, listening to conversations. As I build out the Uniquely You brand, why does my stream deck keep changing my profile? Um, as I build out the Uniquely You um, you know, brand this year and I focus more on creating content around that and I'm building out the podcast, what I'm doing because Clubhouse meets, matches so well with that brand that I'm listening. I'm having conversations. I'm hearing what people want to hear from me about what they're asking questions of others. Um, and there's so much authenticity kind of conversation happening on Clubhouse that uh, it's really a platform that's helping me do market research at the end of the day. We know as business owners and entrepreneurs and content creators that if we're not listening to our audience, we are not going to be doing them any favors and we're not gonna grow our own business out of it, right? We're, because we're not creating the content they want to hear about. So because of that, 
is um, it's really helping me understand the topics, what things are coming up over and over and over again. That way I can create content around those things, right? So that for me is a very strategic way to approach Clubhouse that will deliver um, massive value to you and to me all at the same time. Sandy says, I like it as entrepreneur deep dive, as Glenn says. Yeah, so if you're if you are going to use something like a new platform, you do need to deep dive into it. You need to take full advantage of it. But at the same time, you need to be healthy about the addiction. <laughs> I will always, I will always say that. Um, okay. I don't know if we're still taking entries. Um, are we still taking entries? Uh, let me know. Um, okay. So that's, that's part one of my strategy. Um, part two of my strategy is um, just meeting interesting people, uh, connecting with people I don't know yet. I have a lot of contacts in this industry. People know my name. I'm out there a lot or have been, right? 2020, I, I didn't do a lot of interviews. I wasn't really out there in a big way because I was focused on behind the scenes stuff in my business. And so in 2020, one of my main goals for the year is exposure and connections and getting my name out there more so that we can provide even more value. Um, because that's at the end of the day, that's how you grow your audience is exposure, right? Um, and connecting with people that you can collaborate with and do amazing things with that will provide your audience with bigger and better value. So that's my, one of my goals in the business. And then secondly, with Clubhouse, I've connected with just by having conversations and being in the same room with people who have big audiences as well, small audiences, all of it. And I've created so many connections that I will do things with. I'm already setting up a lot of collaborations and a, a additional conversations with these people. So it's incredible how many connections you can get really quickly. Uh, so it that's those are the ways I'm using Clubhouse. I don't have a monetization strategy around it. It's not at all what I want to use Clubhouse for. Um, but some people do. Um, and. So a lot of people are doing um, the, like teaching, you know, they're hosting uh, uh, panels and they're providing value and teaching uh, content. Um, and then the way you do it, since there aren't really, a, there's no really way to link. So in your profile, you can link to your Instagram account or your Twitter account or both. But that doesn't really provide you with a way to market or to generate leads from the conversations that you're having or the, the people that you're meeting. Um, and so what a lot of people are doing, and I have done this as well, um, is buying up dot club domains. Uh, so I have like all my potential club name, dot club domain names. Um, because you can say like, hey, oh, so this is a perfect example. Molly Mahoney, who started the live video um, room that I co-host every Thursday at 4.30 Pacific, PM Pacific, um, she has livevideo.club. And so when you go there, you're able to get the show notes from the club. So we were talking earlier, there's no recordings, but what she's doing is she's actually um, making notes out of the conversation and then at the livevideo.club offering those show notes available so that people can get the links and get the information um, that was shared in those rooms, right? So that's something that you can absolutely uh, tap into. I got, um, one of my favorites is connect connectnow.club. I haven't done anything. There's nothing there yet. Um, but I got connectnow.club. That way I can say, because a lot of people are doing connect with tim.club. Um, and then that has like all of the contact information, all the social platforms, all of the places where you can go to get their freebies or, or whatever. Um, and so for me, everybody screws up my name. Nobody knows how to spell it. So I had to think a little bit outside the box. So I got connectnow.club, which will be a uh, landing page with all of my information, just so you can find me where you want to find me and connect with me on, right? So that's really cool. 
<laughs> Molly is awesome. I adore Molly. Uh, we're really good friends and we are doing so much together. Uh, she has a Oh, that's right. That's right. She has a redirect to join her Facebook group where she puts the notes, which by the way, grows her Facebook page, right? So these are the ways that you can kind of think strategically about using Clubhouse to grow your audience um, and grow your outside business um, outside of that. Okay, if you have questions, be sure to put a cue in front of them. I'm coming back to questions, I promise. Um, another thing, so with your live stream, so that's kind of general stuff, right? But let's talk about how it is with your live stream and the strategy that you can use. Um, we, uh, an after party, and I have yet to do this today. I'm going to do a 30 minute after party. I have a ton of work to do today. Um, so I'm not going to stay on long, but I want to show you how this works. So after this live stream, um, I'm going to go on to clubhouse for 30 minutes and hang out with y'all. It'll be the after party. Now, as I use this more in my strategy, uh, you know, going forward, it'll be longer of an after party. Just today is so busy for me. But, oh, that's great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, Clubhouse has forced me to use Instagram. I've never been a great Instagram user, um, but all the DMs that I'm getting and conversations that are happening there, oh, and let's talk about that. I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead of the gun here. Um, okay, I'm coming back to Instagram. I'm gonna talk about DMs and how that can help you as well from a financial perspective. Um, okay, so uh, after parties. So that's one really cool strategy to use it in conjunction with your live stream is to, con you know, you're doing your stream, you're having a great conversation, and then people are asking questions in, in chat, but what if you wrapped it up and then you went and answered questions and had more open conversation in real time in Clubhouse? So that's a really super powerful way to engage your community on a deeper level. And perhaps you could, um, perhaps you could even do, um, the, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, I'm getting messages and I, that just distracted me. Okay. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do the, I'll do the after party in the Ecamm clubhouse. Great idea, Caleb. Um, so my after party today, after we stream into this stream for 30 minutes, I'll go live in from the Ecamm clubhouse. Caleb, I'm assuming I can. I'm assuming I have access to do that. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But you can follow me. You can follow the Ecamm Club um, as well and get uh, access to that stream. So after parties are a really great, fun way to use this. Now, Guido, thank you so much, Anar, for the super sticker. Appreciate you. Uh, Guido, ah, uh, why not do it at the same time? That was my next point. This is also something that a lot of people are doing, which is to um, start their, so if they're going to do the after party thing, they start the, um, the club, the room, I'm sorry, they start the room in clubhouse while they're streaming to get the room filled and, and going. And people can just listen in in clubhouse because they're routing their audio into clubhouse. So that's one option. And then they just hop on over so that people are already able to find them. And it's not a, it's not a find process. Like today you'll see it's a little, going to be a little awkward because I don't have that room set up. And so I'm just going to have to, uh, you're going to have to find me, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and so alternatively, uh, if I had that going while I was live, I could put a link in the description in the comments so that you can get settled in into clubhouse. Now there's a potential that that could remove some viewers from your live stream. So be aware of any strategy you put into place. You may be, you know, playing a little bit of a seesaw game with viewers and counts and all of that stuff, because you may be moving them from one location to another instead of having them on both places. <laughs> <laughs> we have five more giveaways that we're doing here after I'm done talking about strategy. So hang tight. You might be lucky. Who knows? Okay. So the other thing that, they're, that, that people are doing, and this one, I will admit I am going to play with this, but I'm a little hesitant about this strategy, but I do want to talk about it because you're going to see it happen a lot more going forward. 
and I will be testing it. But again, I always say, do as I say, not as I do, because <laughs> I'm always testing strategies and new ways of doing things just because I can't talk about them intelligently unless I do and see what the pros and cons are. I can guess pros and cons all I want, but I can't actually know how it works without actually doing. So trust me um, when I say, you know, this is um, part of the, the process for me to discover. Now, I told you there's no recording in Clubhouse. That is against terms of service. However, the founders have said in their town halls that they hold every week, that as long as you have recording in the title of your, or in the, 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 the room name, right? It says like recording, big and bold. You have the red dot on there. Like people are very aware that when they go into that room, they are being recorded. They have said for now, if you do that, as long as it's very clear, they're not going to do anything about the fact that that's technically breaking terms of service. That's how I understand their approach to this and why people are starting to do this. Um, so what people are doing is they're they're bringing their clubhouse audio into their live stream and then you can have basically call in guests audio only but call in guests and have a conversation through Clubhouse, but on your live stream. Um, and by the way, uh, Caleb and I are working on a really great uh, stream coming up right here on Go Live Now uh, to make sure you understand the tech of how all of this works. So we're putting together all of the possible options tech-wise, making sure that each and every one of you has like the... Uh, like if you don't have a Rodecaster Pro or if you do, you know, so like depending on your setup, we're just making, we're taking our time to make sure that the tech, um, you know, uh, uh, teaching that I will do very, very soon uh, right here on Go Live Now is spot on and helps everybody do this. So hang tight for that. But yeah, so a call in live stream sounds awesome. That can be a really powerful way to engage your community, get them um, into your stream. I'm hoping that's just FedEx dropping something off and doesn't need me to answer the door. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's uh, one thing that is happening a lot. It can be a powerful way. I fear, the reason I'm not sure about it is because I'm like, does that remove some of the authenticity? Um, hopefully not, but I think it could. So again, I'm gonna be playing with that um, and really, diving into the pros and cons around that. Yeah, long time listener, first time caller. Yeah, that can be really, really helpful if you're looking for you know guests to come in and, um, and you wanna connect the two platforms. Now, let me get back to Instagram uh, because we were, uh, I started to <laughs> dive into that um, before. Um, because in Clubhouse, you're only connecting your Instagram or Twitter profiles. You can't link to a website or anything like that. What the, what the um, normal like uh, etiquette is, is if you wanna connect with somebody, everybody's like, well, just DM me on, on Instagram. So you go to somebody's bio, you go down to the bottom of the bio and there's their Instagram and you just DM them on Instagram. Um, what I didn't write down her name, so I can't give credit, but this came from a, one of the clubs or one of the rooms that I was co-hosting. Um, she was mentioning that uh, somebody will DM her and then, um, you know, she'll send a quick uh, video reply or something like that and then put a link to something that can support their question or whatever. You t uh, add a tracker to that link and then that can help you in your marketing efforts as well. Um, and you can also run, a, you know, ads to people who have DM'd you on, you can run Facebook and Instagram ads on people who have, um, as a liked, as a uh, as a warm audience, people who have DM'd you on Instagram. And so from a strategic marketing perspective, those are some things that can be done uh, through your clubhouse and live streaming and content strategy, right? Uh, Thursdays are go live now. Uh, you didn't know that because <laughs> I'm on live, I'm on live streaming pros and I'm on Ecamm. Yeah. I never hit the intro button.
<laughs> yeah, I forgot to uh, hit the hit hit the intro before. <laughs> but yeah, go live now. That's what we do every Thursday. Have for months and months and months. <laughs> okay. So let, lots of questions, uh, lots of other things. Real quick before I see if this, if there are private rooms we could relate to Instagram close friends strategy. Yes, for sure. And with private rooms, what you could do is, let's say you have a membership um, and you uh, want to engage your students on a deeper level. You could do, I think private rooms you can have multiple people in. Actually, I haven't verified that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, so you can have, um, uh, you can have like maybe a student group that you could do that with, right? <laughs> I think today it's went live now. <laughs> I went live now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So those, those are the strategic conversations I wanted to have with you. Now we can get to questions. Uh, and then after questions, stick around. I'm going to give away those five extra bonus invites to Clubhouse. So if you are iOS, then you'll be able to uh, do that. Um, uh, thank you, Chad. Appreciate you. Okay. Let's see, Times Masquerade, is Clubhouse a bit like Discord? Okay, so with Discord, and, and those of you who don't know, Discord is a chat app like Slack, but most content creators use Discord for their communities, um, and not Slack, um, but for, for everybody to get together and chat, uh, that's a very popular app. Discord does have voice rooms, voice chat rooms, this is more, Clubhouse is a little bit more powerful than what Discord has because of the discoverability. Like you're on an open platform, right? In Discord, you know, you can discover other, uh, you know, people that you want to connect with and, and rooms, but the discovery isn't there. Um, with Clubhouse, you have that discovery, the searchability, um, and you can uh, really, because of the whole like stage approach, right? We have speakers, we have, sorry, we have uh, listeners, we have speakers, and then we have moderators. Because of the like moderator uh, mentality and people hosting rooms or co-hosting rooms, it's, it's about providing value instead of just an like it can be an open conversation, but it, there's somebody running that room. There's somebody directing it, making sure that people stay on target, blah, 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 right? So it's an entirely different experience than a Discord audio chat. Dream Builder Lab, when you create a clubhouse room, people who follow you are notified. Yes, yes, that's how that works. So if you follow me and turn on notifications, by the way, um, notifications have like normal notification level, uh, lower level, uh, and then a, an all. So if you follow me, turn on all notifications. <laughs> that way you're going to be notified when I'm, when I start a room, um, and, or when I schedule a room, things like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you so much. West Coast Chicano. Thank you for the super chat. Um, are you allowed to bring in a, a clubhouse convo into your live stream? We just talked about that, Michelle. Oh, you missed it. Um, but yeah, we were talking about that. You have to be very, 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 very clear. <laughs> Who wants to add another very? <laughs> you have to be very clear that you are recording that clubhouse room. Um, and it's still technically against terms as I understand it, but they're saying they're fine with it as long as people understand that when they go into that room, they are being recorded. And while you're not recording the clubhouse room, if you're bringing it into your live stream, that is being recorded. So you, you have to follow that rule. Um, you get, <laughs> yeah, if you get all my notifications, you get to see how, how hooked on Clubhouse I am. <laughs> Thank you for adding the varies, uh, Chris and David. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. That's interesting that you've stopped listening to audiobooks. <laughs> yes. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Next question. Um, Yes, there are, so there are private rooms and there are public rooms. I haven't really spent much time in private rooms, um, but let's say you connect with somebody um, in one room, you you know, you, 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 you are both a speaker and uh, you are able to um, 
start a private room with that person so that you can maybe like, hey, like, let's get to know each other. Let's meet. Uh, let's see how we can collaborate together. By the way, I, I really should have mentioned this right up front. Thank you so much for the super chat, David Hunt. Um, I should have really mentioned this. One of my favorite things about Clubhouse is because of the lack of pressure of putting makeup on and being on camera and all of the fear that goes along with that, people are learning how to be really authentic and put themselves out there. They're being brave and asking to speak in a room full of people who they admire. And that, guys, the amount of of imposter syndrome that I went through the first couple weeks of, the first week really of, of uh, Clubhouse was insane. I was like, why am I feeling so much imposter syndrome, fear around speaking up in, an, in a group of amazing people? I do this day in and day out. <laughs> like I, I speak daily. I have interviewed some of the world's top celebrities. I have been, I've spoken on stage with them as a, as, as a peer, like, so what, why am I feeling this awkward sense of like, whatever I say is completely stupid. <laughs> like I really went through imposter syndrome bad the first week. And I think a lot of people do. So what I like to do in my room, some of them, I have different formats for different uh, purposes of rooms, but um, some of the times that I run rooms is I just want you to speak up. I want you to raise your hand and I want you to come in and have a say. I want you to provide whatever value that you have or ask a question or whatever, but I use it as a way to encourage people to, um, to get past that fear. And because there's not all of the other stuff, the tech and all of the fears that go along with being on a live stream, they're able to to kind of bring their personality out a lot more. And then what I'm hoping, and I might be doing some, some specific testing with this in the future, hint, hint. Um, but what I'm hoping is that that might translate over into live streaming for people where they are like, okay, I, I have spoken. I have provided value. I have put myself out there and I have been able to be me now bring that over into live streaming and maybe it's a little easier for people to show up on camera in a real authentic way in a uniquely you way that doesn't kind of uh yeah i'm hoping it's a faster process you know what i mean okay um no you don't pay for clubhouse it's free it's a free app yeah it's a free app um and to be honest, I don't know what their monetization <laughs> strategy is. Uh, anybody know what their monetization strategy is? Because there are no ads. Um, are they going to have? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, 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 Chad, which clubhouse is it in the iOS app store? There are several. Okay, yes. Okay, so many people have gotten into trouble with this. <laughs> Don't download the wrong clubhouse. Uh, I do believe that it's actually um, not a good situation. <laughs> so get the right clubhouse. Uh, I'm going to hold my phone up here. It's this one right here. Uh, steady hands, Luria. Come on. There we go. That is the clubhouse that you want. The guy with a bottle. What is he doing? <laughs> I've never looked at the icon. Oh, he's playing a... Oh, that's an instrument. <laughs> it's a guy with an instrument smiling. <laughs> so there you go. That is what you're looking for. Uh, that's, that's possible. That is certainly possible. Black and white icon. Download the right clubhouse, everybody. <laughs> Anthony, clubhouse sounds well connected. Any other platforms like it? Honestly, I have never seen a platform, I've never been this excited about a platform. I freaking, I love all that it is. Um, I just hope that it stays the way it is. I don't, I don't have much hope for it staying that way long-term, which is also something you need to think about in your strategy. If you're going to dive into it, it may be a short-term strategy for it. Maybe it will be a long-term strategy, but for me, 
I'm 100% willing for this to be a short-term three to six month thing that I spend a lot of time doing um, for the benefits that I laid out earlier um, because it's worth it to me. Uh, but if you're looking for something that will be a long-term strategy, then this may not be the app for you. Chad, uh, and, and again, I, I'm, I'm not speaking ill of it. I do think that it's possible. I just don't have a lot of faith that something that they do in the development or some, like, that, that people get bored with spending their time there. Like, there, I just see so many possibilities of it kind of changing the way, the, the, the mentality of it. $10 super chat. Thank you, Chad. Oh, <laughs> you have helped me get so much uh, our church live stream up and running. Yay. I'm so glad that I've been able to be helpful to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it is FOMO. Marketers. And the, that's the thing is like, we do have, there are people um, who are using it as a marketing tool. Uh, and, you know, I, I see like I've seen that happen. And, and some of those strategies that I laid out earlier are being used in a marketing way. But you can also um, have a mentality of value first and community and connection and still offer something if that is relevant to your audience. Um, but there, yeah, marketers do tend to ruin everything. So I'm, I'm hoping that the, that clubhouse developers, you know, limit the ability for them to do so, if that makes sense. Oh, wait, hold on. From clubhouse with each major app update, we change our icon to spotlight one. Oh, that's cool. See what I mean? See how awesome it is? <laughs> that's really, really cool. Hence the current icon. I did not know that. Okay, very, very cool. Oh, um, just so we all know, the person on the icon now is Bomani X. So if you guys are interested, and I think people are doing like live concerts and things like that inside of Clubhouse as well. Um, the, uh, there was, so I'm gonna leave this up so you can go follow him if you want to check him out. Um, yeah, <laughs> that is cool, but it is confusing for sure. But yeah, so, uh, Oh, um, cats. No, there was a Broadway show. What was the Broadway show that they delivered on Clubhouse? Like they did a, an entire Broadway show, audio only on Clubhouse. Oh, this is a total like deeper thing about Clubhouse, but um, people change out their icons. Uh, so in this uh, performance, they changed out their icons to be the characters that they were uh, so that you could like refresh the screen and see all of the different, uh, different. Um, you could put a visual to the audio that was going on. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's a great question, Daniel. What do we have to do to, to do that? Um, <laughs> no, Dream Builder, there's no, there's no chat room no chat room. And how to avoid haters in Clubhouse. Here's the beautiful thing about Clubhouse. There is a button at the bottom of your screen that says leave quietly. If you encounter somebody, you, so here's a perfect example. There is somebody um, who uh, is in some of my rooms and, and, and I see in other people's rooms often. Um, most of what she has to say, I have found value from. But one time she said something that really triggered me from my past. And I just, I it was, it, it had me fired up in a bad way, in a negative way. And so I left the room. Instead of sitting there and listening to it, I just left the room. You have the, you have the right as a human being not to allow negativity in your life. And so, you know, if you, if there are trolls or if there are any, anybody who's attacking you or whatever in clubhouse, um, then you have the ability to hit that leave quietly button and you don't have to deal with it. So that's one of the beautiful things. Now, if you are hosting the room, that might be a bit of a different story, um, but you, you have the ability to moderate or to, uh, to, um, uh, moderate people in Clubhouse as well. So that's just something that you need to go in being aware of. Uh, again, follow Clubhouse Jeff to learn how to run a room, to learn how to use Clubhouse in general. Um, and so, yeah, 
Uh, okay. Oh, wait, we have giveaways. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I've answered that. I've answered that. Uh, okay. Ready for some giveaways? We have five more invites to Clubhouse. And then as soon as we're done with that, I'm going to hop on over into Clubhouse for 30 minutes. I'm putting a time limit on it because I have a ton to do today. Sorry, we'll do more later. Um, but I will be inside of the Ecamm Club. So find that. And if you do win, yes. He is. He is amazing. Um, <laughs> if you do win, email support at livestreamingpros.com uh, uh, to, to get your invite link. Uh, you have, yes, you have the ability to create and host your own room and create your own rules and vibe. 1,000%. Okay. Let's see. Let's do it. We said that we had five invites to give away, but we surprised you with 10. <laughs> Delay. <laughs> Robert, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Robert is now a winner. We have number two winner. Let's go, or number seven winner, I guess. Ruben! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to do. Confetti! We sell these confetti overlays in uh, the live streaming pro store if you want them. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next up, I have number eight. Number eight winner for today. Dave Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> real quick, Ian is asking, uh, how on earth did you get all those names on the wheel? How long did that take? Uh, I have, I, I did not do it and I refuse to do it. But <laughs> Caleb from Ecamm and Callie from my team uh, put their their copy paste to, to uh, the test. And what I had people do just for anybody who does have like a lot of names, Potentially, what I had everybody do was um, uh, put their name in a comment, like first, last name in the comment and only that. That way, Caleb and Callie could do, um, could copy and paste into that. And then they sent me the link to spin it. But uh, the also the thing is, um, there was a suggestion that might make this easier, a Google form, just have people submit in a Google form and then take that um, list into there. So that's probably something we'll do <laughs> before. Um, at this point, we're, we're done with the entries. Um, I'm sorry, because we only have two more to give away. Uh, but ready, set. Caitlin, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one, last but not least, are you ready? And then as soon as we're done with this, I'm going over to Clubhouse, so follow me. And uh, we will start a room as an after party from this. And you can ask all your questions or talk about whatever you want. Okay. Oh, <laughs> skip. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Woohoo. So, those are the giveaways. Those are the winners. If you did get uh if you did win, uh email support at livestreamingpros.com. I'm sorry, Mike. Um I'm sorry for everybody who didn't. But to st stick around like you will. You will, you will, you will get in. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, you can use, oh yeah, you can use an iPad uh, for this, the Wheel of Wonder. It's not Wheel of Wonder, it's Wheel of Names. Uh, but I call it the Wheel of Wonder. <laughs> All right, you guys, put on your dancing shoes on. If you haven't followed me on Clubhouse, spend this dance time that we're dancing this baby out, um, getting me uh, on Clubhouse so that invites 
They won invites to Clubhouse. We gave 10 away. Ian, you came late. You know what you're supposed to do when you come late to these streams is bring cookies for the rest of the class. So what kind of cookies? <laughs> All right, congratulations, everybody. Put those dancing shoes on. I will see you on Clubhouse for our after party here in just a couple minutes. Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Oh, you can use iPad for Clubhouse. That's what we're talking about. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, 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 it's iOS. So iPhone, iPad, all of it. Thank you for that clarification. Cookies coming, fantastic. <laughs> Let's dance this baby out. Thank you so much for a great show. Bye.